Hi, and today we'll be making Gordon Ramsay fish with ginger beer. First of all, you need some ginger beer, one teaspoon of baking powder, any white fish you want with some pepper on it. Um, use any vegetables, but today we'll be using potatoes and kumara. And we have one and a half cups of flour in here and some seasoning. Season to whatever you want. But we will be using onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and chili flakes. So the first thing we need to do is just quickly break this up. And dip, coat the fish in the flour. So, I'm just going to go get these all coated, and I'll see you soon. So now we have covered all of the stuff in a thin layer of our flour mixture. Now what we are going to combine baking powder and the flour mixture. The reason we coat it first is we need a thin layer for the batter to stick onto. So that's why we cover it in a thin layer of flour. And make sure you not have any excess flour on. So just put it on the sides and knock off any flour. Right now we have about 180 milliliters of ginger beer. We might be using all of it or not. Depends on how much mix you need. So I'm just going to pour in a little bit at a time and see how it looks. It should be nice and creamy at the end. That was a big oopsie. Sure looks like we need a little bit more. Okay, let's just grab a little bit more in here. So I just did a little bit more mixing just to make it all smooth out. Just added a little bit more ginger beer. And it should just look like this, like cream. Nice and smooth. So now it's time to dip them in. So here we have a deep pan with some oil in it. I do really recommend getting a deep pan and maybe a frying basket lift thing and because oil might spill everywhere. So after dipping the, the potato in, we're just going to get the excess off. 
and we're just gonna, you know, drop, drop it and drop it in here. And you know it's ready when it starts to float to the top. So now I'm just getting these fried up, and they should be ready soon. And I'll just use the scoopy thing and scoop them back up. So now that they're nice and golden brown, uh, you should probably strain them and pick them up and put them into a straining bowl. You just go under. Put some of the oil out. And you just dump it into the straining bowl. with the rest. So now the batch is finished and it's time to show you what it looks like. And this is what it looks like, but I'm going to cut open one so you can listen to that sound. You hear that? Thanks for watching, and if you like this recipe, subscribe for more. So have a great day, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.